Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are a little bit outside of Quincy, Washington today. We're actually at Crescent Bar. So if you were to go down to uh, Vantage off I-90 and get off at the Gorge or the George, so Gorge at George is what a lot of people know for concerts, get off on George and then head north from the George for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, you would come into Quincy and then just outside of Quincy is Crescent Bar. So we're driving down to where Crescent Bar is right now. It's a little bit of a weird drive because when you're coming in, it's like just a bunch of desert, not much here, a bunch of random buildings, storage type buildings, a few houses here and there. And then all of a sudden you get down into Crescent Bar and it's like a little resort town. Best way I can describe it, it's a smaller Chelan and every year it just seems to get a little more popular and grow a little bit more so we're gonna head down there right now we're gonna have a little bit of a windy hill hill road to go down and then we'll be in the town just gonna show you around what it looks like right now um, we'll drive around the whole little area we're staying at the thousand trails campground and we come here every year so it's been a really fun spot for us to come to we got pretty lucky this time of year usually it's about 110 degrees is what we've seen and we were in the 80s for pretty much the whole week i think we had one day that broke 90. Uh, but for the most part we've just been enjoying our time on the river it's right here on the columbia river and rented a boat one day hang out on the lake hang out at the pool and other than that we've been uh just eating good food and enjoying time so here we go down this windy little road that they got here and as you can see you're seeing the Columbia River right in front of us and really cool surfaces on all these hills and mountain type things that you're seeing so this whole ravine type area is just really a beautiful area so it kind of changes from what you were just looking at to when we get down on this slope coming down to the Crescent Bar little town area they got a couple golf courses down here. I think they're par threes. Honestly, not too bad. I was looking at it the other day. It was $25 for nine round, nine holes. So it's something that uh, I wish I would have done this time. Uh, we didn't really go with our friends very much this time. They were only here for two days. So kind of just hung out with the kids and the friends and spent time on the lake. And it was not bad, but that's definitely something we want to take advantage of the next time we're down here and other than that just as you can see you're gonna see construction you're gonna see some uh, nice homes this isn't a huge area but if you're looking for something kind of like Chelan this is a little closer to home I think this is about a two and a half three hour drive out from Seattle for us a little bit slower with the travel trailer um, you're going over the pass so I'm only going like 55 to 60 top speeds as I'm going over the pass and then not breaking really 65 miles per hour in general just with the trailer in tow but if you're coming out here to rent a cabin or rent a house airbnb two and a half three hours you'll be out here no problem so as we're coming in here we're gonna have a golf course here on our left the campground that we're staying at thousand trails we'll we'll end the video there so you'll see that at the end of the video but that's also going to be coming up here on the right and we got some homes and stuff that people probably use for vacation homes I'm assuming I don't I don't think a lot of people actually live out here full-time but they could they maybe retirement and stuff like that but really fun place to come visit so we're past the thousand trails right now uh, so we've we've looked at some of these townhomes and houses and they're they're close to a million the last time we looked which kind of just blew us away because you're kind of in the middle of nowhere but you know it is a nice cool little resort town and I think people really eat that up to a degree so as we come in around here uh, they have the golf course the Sunsera clubhouse public grill we haven't tried the public grill they got a coffee shop and the little ice cream stand that's up here we did try the ice cream a couple of times pretty good ice cream I would recommend the ice cream here versus the uh, the gift shop that's right next to a place that we'll also be driving by, Tower Pizza. That gift shop has uh, Blue Bunny, I think it is, ice cream. I'm not a big Blue Bunny fan. I thought this ice cream over here was a little tastier. I got the caramel, salted caramel, I believe is what it was. Pretty tasty. So, can't really go into these homes to show you those because they're all locked up at this point. But, 
gated off gated communities but we'll just go through here so yeah the ice cream shop is right here on the right uh, friends got coffee there they said it was pretty good <coughs> the advantage of the other gift shop that's over by the pizza place that we'll be going by they have mercury coffee so if you're here from Washington uh, mercury coffee is my wife and I's probably top three favorite coffee places so goes for me Victor's and Redmond uh, mercury coffee and then woods coffee would be my third so our you know it's I take that back mercury and woods they're neck and neck so two or three on either one of those both are great options uh, Starbucks not even on the list I think next would be like Storyville Bigfoot Java um, there's also oh, I can't remember the name but there's a gourmet latte place that's pretty good so I don't remember this being here last year but straight ahead there's Beaumont Beaumont Cellars wine tasting and bistro tasting room so that's kind of cool and there's some really nice expensive homes right up there that I did a run through and kind of ran the whole neighborhood there's a whole bunch available so over here is gonna be the tower pizza and the other gift shops so this is the gift shop that's gonna have mercury coffee good good coffee we got our sticker there and then tower pizza really good pizza you know we we have no complaints about the pizza here it's uh if you've ever had a Papa Murphy's stuffed crust pizza. They braid the crust like a Papa Murphy's stuffed pizza. And so we got the barbecue chicken. I've had the chicken bacon ranch here and then just like a regular pepperoni and every pizza I've tried from them. Oh, and a cheese, because of course the kids didn't finish all their cheese pizza. Um, really good, good pizza, really enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something like that, highly recommend getting pizza one of the nights. We did that after we went boating, came back, got pizza for a bit. Here's the Chinook Park. Not a huge park, but um, you know, they, they've done a really good job taking care of this whole area. So there is another campground for trailers that we're gonna drive through right now. And that one actually is a little nicer than Thousand Trails as far as how it looks. The grass is all green. The, the spots are all paved with uh, pavement and gravel. So they're really clean and nice. They don't feel like a campground necessarily. You just feel like you're on the water, which isn't bad. It's just a different feel. So depending on what you're looking like, you're also gonna see a lot of people in golf carts and uh, electric bikes. So this whole area, it's pretty popular to get your golf cart and roll around this area. So you'll see that quite often. We're coming by the boat launch right here on the left. This is where we rented a pontoon boat we had 11 of us on it and we took it out for the day and we're all over the place it was a good time so let's see we'll get right over here and see what we find so this is the other campground I was telling you about so not really much trees just very open and it's, it's just a big campground it's nothing wrong with it just you know it's a different feel um, I would say this crescent bar one it's really sandy and dry so you're kind of always got dirt on your feet you're always kind of feeling slightly dirty when you're camping that's kind of expected so it's not a deal breaker um, but if you're staying at this campground I think it would be a little easier to not necessarily have as much dirt on you constantly because everything is just clean so we'll drive we'll just do a quick little lap through here as you can see, it's a campsite, nothing too exciting, but uh, you know, it's cool that you have options out here. Uh, Crescent Bar, when we book it, it's this is the popular time of the year, so it's definitely not the easiest to get in. We were lucky to get five days this year, and now we're trying to get Seaside for five days. Currently, we only have Seaside for, what do we have it for? Um, I think we have three nights booked, so we're hoping we're hoping we're going to get in, but it may not happen for our full five or seven days like we'd like this year. So that's that's the one thing is we have this Thousand Trails membership. It's great. We pay $60 a month in our second year. And as long as you go camping more than 10 days a year and use it, um, most campsites are like $40 to $60 a night. So if you use it enough to make back that uh, $720, that's going to be your biggest thing. And we typically go about 28 to 35 ish times a year so we have definitely gotten our money worth out of it uh, but 
we can only book 60 days in advance at our membership level. So if people are booking up sites that are popular that have a longer uh, booking reservation window, it makes it a little tough to try and get into some of them. All right. So coming back through. So yeah, it's it's like I said, it's not a huge huge area. It's. Uh, like a mini Chelan is the best way I could describe it. And I think it's only going to get bigger and more popular as this area continues to grow. So they're, they're definitely have a good spot here for summertime. Definitely nice to have AC though when you're out here. When it gets into those hundreds, oh man, we were out here one year and we were pretty miserable. It was, it was too hot <laughs> and we spent more time in the trailer and the AC of our friends. <clears throat> it was before we had gotten our trailer so definitely worth having somewhere to escape the heat all right so this is the boat launch right here got a little store and we're gonna head back over oh there was a golf course down by the other campground I didn't say that so those are the two courses um, I'm not sure which one was the $25 one if it was the first one we went by or if it's the second one but this first one that was where I said the good ice cream was that's a, a public golf course I'm not sure on the other one but yeah it's a little early in the day I was trying to get out here and do this earlier because I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Pretty good. Pretty good. Have a nice one, man.
All right, video cut out for where that uh, took off. So I'm not sure how much of that cut out, but anyhow, we're back at the campsite. I gotta get some stuff done. Thanks for coming along. It was great getting back out here and making a video. Until next time, keep exploring. We'll talk soon. Take care.